Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about MHC Class One. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So I have already talked about the introduction of MHC in my previous lecture. If you haven't gone through the lecture, I would highly recommend you to have a look on that. Link is provided in the description box. Class one MHC molecules are found in the plasma membrane of all nucleated cells in our body. Therefore, it is absent only in RBC or red blood cells because red blood cells lack nucleus. Now we will talk about the structure of MHC class one molecule. So, class one MHC molecule is a glycoprotein it contains two polypeptide chains the alpha chain and beta 2 microglobulin the molecular weight of alpha chain is 45 kilodalton and the molecular weight of beta 2 microglobulin is 12 kilodalton the alpha chain contains three external domains alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. So three external domains are present in alpha chain. Each of them contains 90 amino acids. So each of them that means alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 each of them contains 90 amino acids. The alpha chain contains a hydrophobic transmembrane domain that contains 25 amino acids. So this part is the transmembrane domain. Via this transmembrane domain, alpha chain is anchored with the plasma membrane of cell. Alpha chain also contains a hydrophilic cytoplasmic portion that contains 30 amino acid. So this is the cytoplasmic tail that contains 30 amino acids. Alpha 3 domain binds CD8 co-receptor of cytotoxic T cells or TC cells. Alpha 1 and alpha 2 domains bind antigen. They bind a peptide of 8 to 10 amino acids. The beta 2 microglobulin is similar in size to the alpha 3 domain. It does not contain a transmembrane region and it is covalently bound to alpha chain. It is essential for proper folding of alpha chain. Now we will see the function of MHC class 1 molecules. So class 1 MHC molecules present intracellular or endogenous molecules on cell surface. In our body, each and every healthy cell works continuously and its protein molecules are continuously synthesized and degraded. Those degraded protein products are bound to the cell surface MHC class 1 molecules and displayed to the immune system of our body. These degraded protein products are called self-antigens. Immune cells in our body are like soldiers and they continuously monitor all the cells in order to maintain the body's defense. When an immune cell, specifically a TC cell 
approaches. It can recognize the healthy cell by its bound self antigen and this TC cell leaves it. In this way, these self antigens prevent an organism's immune system from targeting its own cells. Okay, but when a healthy cell is infected by virus, viral proteins are displayed by these MHC molecules as foreign substances. TC cells can recognize them and initiate a defensive mechanism in order to destroy the infected cell.